An Egyptian court has banned the Muslim Brotherhood. That, that's almost a weird sentence to say, right? Because how can you just ban, like, a massive group of people? The court ordered the assets of the Muslim Brotherhood to be confiscated, which will definitely escalate the already bad violence that's happening in Egypt. And what's amazing is the history of this. Now, the Brotherhood was outlawed for most of its 85 years uh, in existence, but after the 2011 revolution, when uh, Hosni Mubarak was overthrown, the Brotherhood was allowed to work openly, and they formed a political party, and they rose to power in it, the elections that happened after Mubarak. In fact, it was Morsi who ended up winning the election. Now, whether or not he actually won the election is a different conversation, because there were some claims. I don't know whether or not they're true or false, and I'll never know them, because we'll never get a real uh, serious investigation into it. But uh, he might have stole the election, uh, uh, Morsi, or he might not have. Because honestly, there weren't really any good choices. It was either people who were from the Mubarak regime who were running for office, or the Muslim Brotherhood in Morsi. So they went with the least of all bad options, or so they thought. But uh, look, the reason why this is really noteworthy is because of the implications of what's going to happen. So you guys already know the facts about what happened when the military cracked down on the largely peaceful Muslim Brotherhood protests, where people were protesting to try to get Morsi back in power. The Egyptian military came in and started to lighten them up. Just flat out killing people, murdering people. Now to be fair, there were some people in the Muslim Brotherhood movement who were going after Coptic Christians, right, and burning down their churches, but it certainly wasn't a majority of the people. The vast majority of the Brotherhood's, uh, Brotherhood movement was protesting peacefully, and the military just came in and started killing people, right? So uh, with that already happening, and now this happening, it is a guarantee that uh, Egypt, if it already hasn't, will just explode in an all-out civil war. I mean, the problem with moves like this is that you become the monster you're trying to avoid. So in other words, what the uh, military in Egypt was attempting to do after the overthrow of Morsi in the second Egyptian revolution, uh, they were trying to make sure that there wasn't going to be somebody that comes to power that does a, a, a big power grab and rigs the rules to keep their uh, particular political and religious faction in power. And that's what happened with Morsi. He passed a constitution that was too religious in its nature, right? And uh, he entrenched himself with power so it would be harder for anybody else to get an opportunity in an actual democracy, right? So that's one of the main reasons why he was overthrown. But now if the military, uh, after they get Morsi out, which was probably a good thing at, 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 when you tally everything together, right? But now they're doing the same thing. They've become the monster that they were trying to avoid. They say, no, you're not allowed, you're not even considered legitimate if you're part of the political faction that we disagree with, that we just overthrew. Yeah, but wait a second, you guys are the ones that are pretending like you're for democracy, which is why you overthrew Morsi, but now you're the ones that are not acting democratic. You're the ones that are cracking down on the Brotherhood and saying you're not even allowed to exist. Never mind giving them a, a fair shot at, uh, you know, a somewhat democratic system. No, this is only going to lead to more problems, man.